Hello guys, welcome back to the part 2 video of lesson 3, grade 5, chapter 1, model fractions and uh, decimals, page number is 23. Okay, uh, I explain a, a brief overview about fractions and decimals in part 1 video. Now let us start the lesson here. Uh, the first question use a model to show 3 out of 10 3 over 10 we read it as 3 out of 10 or 3 over 10 then write it in word form and as decimal you have to write it in word form and decimal as I told you when we write fractions that is not a complete number it is a part of a number so we divided one whole into 10 parts from the denominator and out of 10 parts we have 3 so 3 columns of the tenth model shaded okay how we write it as decimal because we have 3 out of 10 so we write it at the tenth place so 0 0.3 this is the decimal and how we read it we always read uh, the place value of the last digit 3 tenths Three tenths here. Nine out of hundred. Now we divided one whole into hundred parts, and we shade nine. And we have nine out of hundred, so it is nine hundredths. Nine at the hundredth place. So the decimal will become zero point. We fill the remaining places with zeros. Zero point zero nine. And as I told you, we read the place value of the last digit, 9, if I have another number here, for example, 1 here. So it will become 9, 1, 19, hundredths. Got it? We always read the place value of the last digit. If I have 2 here, so we will read 29 and then hundredths. If I don't have 9 here, let's like this one, only 3, so I read 3 tenths here. We have 9, so I read 9 and the place value of the last digit, hundredths. Okay, let us move to the next page. Okay, this one now. 34 over 100. We divided one whole into 100 parts and out of 100 parts we have 34 shaded. So, the decimal is 0 0.34 you can see guys here 3 1 2 and 3 tenths are completed so 3 at the tenths place and 4 these small box means hundreds and this whole line means tenths got it so we have 3 tenths and 4 hundreds so the decimal is 0 0.34 and how we read it just now I told you we read the number 34 at the place value of the last digit 34 hundredths okay next one here now here this cube is 4000 now we divide it one whole into 1000 parts here we divided one whole into 100 parts. Now we divided one whole into 1000 parts from the decimal here. And out of 1000 parts, we have how much? Only 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Got it, guys? So, 4 over 1000. And what is the decimal now? 0. Point, the first is tens, hundreds and thousands so 4 is what out of thousand so 4 is thousands and how we read it in word form 4 thousands let me write it for you guys here 4 with dhs thousands okay because 4 is out of 1000 and we placed 4 at the thousands place got it guys okay let us move to the next question 
here it is 80 out of 100 so out of 100 we shade 80 bars or you can say 8 tenths got it so 80 hundreds 0.80 and 80 hundreds 45 out of 100 so if we make a model we will make 100 parts like this and we will shade only 45 and we read it how 45 hundreds 45 hundreds or we can say 4 tenths plus 5 hundreds because 40 is 4 tenths and 5 hundreds okay let us move to the next page now here from this uh, fraction you have to shade it first and then write it in word form 7 out of 10 out of 10 you will shade 7 which is 7 tenths 9 tenths 4 tenths okay now here out of hundreds 5 hundreds 63 hundreds 21 hundreds out of 100 okay here you have to write the decimal so two tenths so you will write two at the place of tenths 0 0.2 0 0.8 0 0.5 okay here now down out of 100 now so how many shaded 17 so 0 0.17 89 are shaded 0 0.89 and 68 are shaded so 0 0.68 okay here now define waters his plant with 0.76 parts of water every other day right the amount of water he uses in word form and as a fraction 0 0.76 it means the last base is hundreds ones tenths hundreds so 76 over 100 and the place value in word form 76 hundreds Jessica's family ate six tenths it means what six out of ten in decimal 0 0.6 okay May rode her bike 7 over 10 miles, which means what? 7 tenths, 0 0.7. Her friend Julie walked 0 0.07 mile to school. Did the two girls travel the same distance? No. 7 over 10 is 0 0.7. And the other one is 0 0.07. This one is 7 tenths. This one is 7 hundredths. Got it? 7 over 100. 7 over 10. So no, they are not same. 0 0.7 is not equal to 0 0.07. But 0 0.7 is equal to 0 0.70. If we have 70 here, 7 and 0, then it is same. Because we have 7 tenths and no hundredths like here in the next question 0 0.4 and 0 0.40 they are same how 0 ones 0 ones 4 tenths 4 tenths here no hundreds similarly here no hundreds 0 hundreds so 4 over 10 or 40 over 100 and in the shade in the models you can also check that the same area is shaded okay here is an example how do you model a decimal using a fraction the first place after the decimal point has a value of 1 over 10 the next place has a value of 1 over 100 and after that 1 over 1000 i hope you guys understand and don't forget to finish your homework page number 27 and 28 and send me your homeworks through pioneer if your Pioneer accounts are not working, you can send me through email. I will write my email in the description. And if you have any question, you can comment about it. And thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day. And don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you so much.